Hello everyone, welcome again. Now in this video we are going to discuss how you can handle the drop down with the help of Selenium. So let me open my Bugzilla. I will go to TestNG project. So this is the example of a drop down where the component will have predefined set of values and user can select any one at a time. So let's say for CVRT I select normal. Similarly for hardware these are the set of values and I can select any one of them. So if you look at here First I need to click on drop, drop down, then I need to click on the corresponding value. So there are two click events happening here. So let us see how we can automate this particular drop down with the help of Selenium. So here I am going to add one more method, public void select drop down throws exception. And after logging in, I need to go to test ng project. So let me find the xpath of this hyperlink. So this is the tag. So xpath will be slash slash a text equal to test ng. Let me do a eval for this xpath. So there is only one matching node. So again here I will use browser dot click at, as it is hyperlink. I can use the click method followed by xpath and again I need to generate a delay. So browser dot wait for page to load. So that will be a 30 second of customized delay. So once this is done if I click on it so here is the drop down let me find the xpath of this drop down so this is the code so I'm going to copy this piece of code and paste it over here so first will be the select and at the rate id equal to the bug CVRT so this will be your first click action so browser dot click so first we will click on drop down then after that we are going to click on option so let me validate this that this is a proper xpath or not so yes you can you can see that it has highlighted the corresponding drop down then I need to select an option value so here same slash option text equal to blocker so let me do a eval for this so yes we are able to find out that particular node so the second click is for selecting the value so browser dot click this thing so let me remove the debug point from here and let me put a debug point over here and I'm going to comment out this method because it will take me to some different web page so select drop down and again I will run this in debug mode So it has hit the debug point and we are at the required page. So let me do a step over. So as you can see that in the log we are getting the result as ok but still it doesn't select the value blocker. So our script failed to select although at the log we are getting the result ok. So you can say this is this it is a behavior of drop down. So for this we cannot rely on click method we need to the take we need to take the help of a method which is provided by selenium that is select method now select method is going to select the value inside the drop down so here browser dot select and the first argument will be the xpath of select so for us this is the xpath for select 
and the second will be the value you want to select inside the drop down so for it, for us it was blocker and let me do the same thing from other drop down so I'll copy this one paste it over here and here in the PC so ID is this and the value which I want to select is let's say other so now let me rerun our script in debug mode so it has hit the debug point so now if I do a step over as you can see that in the drop down it has selected the value that is blocker similarly here also it has selected the value other in the hardware drop down so this is the way of dealing with the drop down you cannot uh, uh, directly use the click method to deal with the drop down so we need to take the help of this select function suppose you want to fetch the fetch all the value which is present in the drop down that can be done with the help of get select option method provided by the selenium so here I'm going to use browser dot get select option and again here it will require the xpath for that drop down so this is the xpath and if you look at the return type of this method is a string array so again a string value and I'm going to for put a for loop int i equal to 0 i is less than value dot length and i plus plus value plus value of i so what it is going to do it is going to uh, retrieve all the value present inside this particular drop down and it will store inside in uh, this particular string array so I'm going to display this particular value so let me rerun it in debug mode so let me put a debug point over here So it has hit the debug point and you can see that it has selected the corresponding value so if I do a step over so as you can see the first value is the blocker then the critical then major then normal minor trivial enhancement so it is going to list all the value which is present inside the drop down So in this manner you can take the help of uh, get uh, select option method to retrieve all the value inside the drop down. So let's say one more thing. Uh, I have been running all the script in the Firefox. Let's say I want to run this script in Chrome. So let's say I will give some invalid string and I am going to run it. So as you can see that it has failed. The reason, okay. the reason why I did I just want to see what are the browser which is supported by this. So for Google Chrome, we have this particular string. So I put it here and paste it over here. But whenever you are using the Google Chrome, you have to specify the path of your Chrome EXE also along with this particular string. So I have this particular Google Chrome installed in my C drive. at this location so I need to specify this path over here along with your browser string so now the similar script will run inside the Google Chrome 
so let's do a debug so again it has hit it hit the debug point so it has printed the value of all the drop down and if I want to run this thing inside the i so I will change this string to i explorer here I don't need to specify the explorer exe so i i explore so before that let me clear the cache of my explorer So now let me run it. Let me move the debug point from here to this. So our script has been launched inside the Internet Explorer. now it has hit the debug point so again if I do a step over now it has closed the browser but it didn't stop the client so client is still running here so if I do a step over again it has stopped the client now it is going to stop the server so in this video we discuss how to handle the drop down with the help of select method and with the help of get select option we can retrieve all the value present inside the drop down so that's all for this video and thanks for watching.